Mavic Air 2 Basic Coloring Tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to color the D cine like aerial footage shot with the Mavic Air 2. What is displayed on the screen is the raw footage shot at D cine like Compared with Rec. 709, this color mode brings not only fast and convenient shooting experience, but also retains more details for post-processing. The tutorial is based on DaVinci as the coloring tool, aiming to provide a detailed demonstration on how to color d like footage after shooting and a guide with basic coloring skills. First, click to enter the color interface. You can refer to the scopes and adjust the footage till it's correctly exposed. Click the scopes. Observe how the footage is exposed on parade and waveform. It shows that all of the three color channels are pretty much in the middle tone without overexposure or underexposure issues in the highlight and low light parts, ideal for post-processing. After analyzing the raw footage, it's time to start the primary correction and prepare for more stylized and creative grading coming up next. Add a serial node and open the primary's wheels. Pull down the lift. Push up the gain and slightly increase the gamma to enhance the sense of depth. Strengthen the color contrast to further distinguish shadows and highlights. Then adjust the pivot of the contrast controls to make the footage evenly exposed. Add another serial node to adjust white balance and correct the footage to the true colors as it is. Lower the temperature and tint. where you can observe the clouds in the sky or the waveform for reference. When you see little color in the highlight part, it means the footage has been adjusted to proper white balance. Add a new serial node and enhance saturation to make the colors more vivid. Coloring is mostly done after primary correction. For users preferring natural colors, it is ready for export. But, if you want to make your footage stand out with a unique style, you can move on to color grading for stylized creation and detailed editing. This is an advanced step, which requires users to have a deep understanding on the relations between the texture, color style, and emotions of the footage. Add a serial node. Go to the Curve section and pull the middle tone down a bit to create a stronger sense of depth for the midtones. Open the Hue versus Hue curve. Find the blue part of the curve and drag it slightly to the left to make the sky color lighter. Switch to Hue versus Saturation curve. Pull down the saturation of the blue sky and red ground to create a sense of space. Switch to the Hue versus Luminance curve. Lower the brightness of red and blue colors to align the hues of the footage as a whole. Add a new serial node and use the eyedropper tool to isolate the clouds. Since the clouds are in the highlight part with clearly high luminance, you can isolate the clouds by directly adjusting the range of luminance in the qualifier. Adjust the value of L soft. Reduce the noise and increase the blur radius. Then use the mask to remove the excess parts. Reduce saturation. Lower the midtones. And pull up the brightness to add more details to the clouds and make the sky clearer. Add a new serial node. Use the round mask to select the middle part of the frame. Push up the master curve to increase the brightness of the midtones so as to strengthen the depths of the frame. Add another serial node. Link the layer key of the previous node to the new node. Do a reverse selection. 
pull down the curve to reduce the brightness and create a strong contrast in the footage. Add a new serial node. Increase MD value. Open the sharpen window and increase the sharpness to make the depths and details of the frame prominent. Add a new serial node. Select Vignette. Adjust the parameters to a proper range so that the figures in the middle can stand out. This is the last step of coloring. Let's do a quick review of the content in this video. We spent the first three nodes on primary correction and switched to stylized and creative grading with the rest nodes. That's all for this coloring tutorial for aerial footage. If you encounter any questions when using our products, do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.